Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm participating in the Here's Your Crown Women Supporting Women DIY Challenge. Here's Your Crown is hosted by Connie over at Connie's Creative Creations and Painted in Distress. This challenge is also co-hosted by Tammy over at the Rusted Willow. For my first DIY, I'm going to be making some wall art using one of these oven covers from Dollar Tree. I took some of this tape and I put it across the middle because I wanted to paint the top part. I got this idea from Marsha over at Marsha's Mush and Stuff. You should check her out. She's a really great DIYer and she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. So I took this teal color paint and I painted it all along the top of the oven cover. I only needed to do one coat. It was pretty thick and then I just waved it around to make it dry. Then I took this red and white and I made it pink and I painted all around the truck on the bottom. I still wanted to keep that truck on there because I thought it was so cute. And I did give this two coats of paint just to make sure that it was on completely and that you couldn't see anything that was there before. Once I was satisfied with the painting, I had these wall stickers and I chose one of the flower patterns out of it. And after taking a bit of time to decide where to put it, I stuck it on. I also took a few more stickers from that packet and added them around the truck. Here's how it looks so far. I thought it needed a little something else and I had this nautical rope so I decided to put that around and I just glued it on with hot glue. Thank you, Marsha, from Marsha's Mush and Stuff, for giving me this great idea. And here it is. I think it turned out beautiful, don't you? Our next DIY, I'm going to be taking one of these jars that I got from Dollarama and I used some orange paint from Dollarama as well 
and I colored the whole jar orange. Now I saw this DIY on Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. She did a wooden pumpkin set that I thought was really cute. And I didn't have any wood at the time to try it out, so I thought I'd try it with this jar. I was really liking the orange color on the jar. And I did do a few coats. Once I was done that, I took black paint and I covered the lid. Then I had this rope that I unraveled because in Connie's video, she used some raffia to tie around her pumpkins. Once I had it all unraveled, I cut off the end and attached it to my pumpkin jar. Tying a knot in the front. And I did cut off the top part of the rope because I didn't like it sticking out. And I just glued the end just to make it so it didn't fray. And here it is so far with the black lid. But I wanted a stem on top. And so one of my friends suggested making the lid orange. So I took another lid and I painted it all orange. Once that was done, I took one of these small wood rounds and I painted it green. Then I added it on with hot glue. And here it is. Thanks, Connie, for your inspiration. My final DIY, I'm going to try and replicate this fall tray that I saw made by Indiani Jones. Annie loves crafting on a budget and living the adventure. And in one of her recent videos of cottagecore shabby chic, I saw her make this really cute fall tray. So Annie, here's your crown. I'm going to try and replicate your tray using black paint. So first I painted the whole thing black and then I took this napkin of a scarecrow. I cut out a piece of this cork sheet that I got from Dollar Tree. I placed that at the bottom of the tray on top of the paint. So here it is. Then I took the napkin and I took apart the layers 
I added some Elmer's glue and I put down the napkin on top. Once that was done, I put glue on top of the napkin just to make it stick better. And then I took these fall leaves and with hot glue, I glued them on. I tried alternating different colors just so it gave a more fall look. Then I took this buffalo check ribbon made a bow and put this sunflower in the middle. I thought it turned out really cute. I would like to thank Connie's Creative Creations, Painted and Distressed, and The Rusted Willow for hosting this cool challenge, Women Supporting Women. I'd also like to thank Marsha from Marsha's Mush and Stuff, Connie from Connie's Creative Creations, and Annie from Indiana Jones for being the inspiration for all of my designs today. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and please do me a favor and share this video. It really helps me out. Thank you and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.